Well, we love the vault. It gives us a great excuse to dig through our archives and they're huge. And Charisse, go Charisse. She sent us this one from the vault. She wrote, how about a story on the plane that crash landed in the 70s on slash near Burnside? Yowza, that's an awesome idea. So that crash happened back in 1978 at 157th and East Burnside. You were right. And it was right in the middle of a residential neighborhood. So we found a story in the KGW vault from 1998, looking back at the crash on its 20th anniversary. People who heard the crash say they also felt it. When United Flight 173 landed, the ground shook and windows rattled. Immediately, the frenzy to rescue survivors began. It was December 28, 1978, around 6.15 p.m. I smelled this funny smell like WD-40 and dirt and everything, and, and uh, I didn't know if we were dead or alive. <laughs> this passenger was one of 179 people to survive. Ten people, including three children, died. There's a Amy Ford Connor did not know anyone had lost their lives when she walked out of the wreck. She was 17. Sometimes it feels like it was just, you know, last month. And then sometimes it feels like it never happened at all. Connor has repressed the memories of the moments when the plane hit the ground. But she can never forget what could have been. It's twofold. You, you know, of course, the most immediate is they died. And, and I, was in, I was a part of that. And the other piece is that it could have been me. 20 years later, Connor has discovered her therapies for coping, from spinning cloth to speaking frankly about her story. She remains haunted, though, in other ways. It has been 14 years since she has flown in a plane. I tried everything from self-hypnosis to biofeedback to Valium, Sacanol, and I was miserable. It was just awful. Physical symptoms, not just emotional. 20 years has also erased all signs of the crash at 157th and East Burnside. But Connor is now working to revive memories of this scene. She has organized a reunion for Monday. 150 to 200 people are expected. But I felt a need to be with people who were there, who can share my story, and to hear their stories, to see how they're doing. Um, I just wanted to see if anybody else wanted to come. Tina Kim, KGW Northwest News Channel 8. It's so incredible to see. So Popular Mechanics listed this as one of the 12 plane crashes that changed aviation because it led to some big changes in airline safety, mostly with how the cockpit crew is managed. You see, the plane was supposed to land at PDX, but it had trouble with its landing gear, and then it ran out of fuel while it was circling, so the cockpit crew was blamed for not paying enough attention to the fuel running out. So after that crash, the NTSB started recommending cockpit resource management training, which is now standard for all airline crews.